Hey, a mystic family, mystic Unigon here. And so I've been thinking a while about making a hashtag or maybe a set of hashtags for this community. So obviously had to stop and think, what is one, the one thing that I've pretty much suffered through my entire life. And that is being an outcast. I think it pretty much started when I was little. Well, young. Still in school. Um, it's really painful when the best friend you grow up with, or besties as they are now called, just randomly decides that you're not good enough to hang out with them anymore. And that's pretty much what happened to me. And it felt like the ultimate stab in the back. And it's really sad when that kind of thing happens and then you decide from there on out, okay, I'm never trusting another person to fill that void ever again because I don't want to get hurt like that again. And that's pretty much where I'm at right now. I don't trust anyone to that level. Because we hung out all the time. We had sleepover overs as much as we could. I mean, shh, we live right next door. So it was just a walkover. It's not like anybody had to drive us anywhere. It was so easy and convenient. And then basically she matured before I did. I guess. Puberty wise, I'm guessing that's that would be the excuse, if you want to call it an excuse, because that's probably what it was. But, so, um, and then in school, like, I had friends, but, I mean, my one friend did call me her best friend because she went through a lot of crap, and I listened to her, and I didn't judge her for it. But, at the same time, like, after school, obviously, like, I have her on Facebook, but she's got a family life now. I have a family life now, so it's kind of like when you grow up and move on from school and all that stuff, it's just kind of like, it's kind of like, uh, whatever, we're still there, but it's not like it was when we were in school. And, like, it wasn't just her. Like, I had another friend who was also into art like I was. But she came from a lot stricter family. Like, and it was just, like, like, they were so, they were so religiously strict that they wouldn't let the girls have Barbie dolls. Because their vision of it was you undressing another woman. I'm like, well, it's a freaking toy. It's not even that anatomically correct it, it's so it was kind of stupid to me like that's but I mean to each their own that's the way you want to raise your child that's fine but it's just, I thought it was kind of silly and then I don't know just after that I pretty much was a social outcast like I've been in communities and like, one of them on one of the guilds, like, on World of Warcraft, and we started playing that. I had no issues with them, and they had no issues with me. And then all of a sudden, they found out I was a Christian, and freaking turned their back on me. I'm like, excuse me, did I judge you this entire time for not being Christians? And then you just want to stab me in the back like that? Like, alright, whatever. Like, I don't judge anyone if they're not. 
or what they believe in or what their sexual preferences or whatever. Like, I'm friends with everybody I can be. I don't leave anyone out. I don't judge anyone for what their choices are and how they live and how they do. I just be friends with everyone and try to find, you know, something we share in common and that we can laugh and joke about and have fun about. Like, I never judge a single person. And it's really sad when I don't do that and then other people just turn around and do and then they say Christians are bad. And like, okay, well, yeah, there are some that do that and it's wrong because they don't stop to think, hey, Jesus was an outcast too. So there's no reason to treat anyone else as that, especially even in Christian communities, they'll treat some of their own as outcasts. When I was in church... And hanging out with the youth group, okay, we had a lockdown at the church, and it was just kind of pl staying up all night, having fun playing games and stuff. Well, even in a church, they had their clique. They had their group of people that were cool. And I think it was like three of us that were left out of the entire group, and it was one guy named Matt, my cousin and me and basically Matt and I went into the one like the room I guess was like the kitchen sort of room where they had a table and we just sat there had paper and we're just drawing like they didn't want to hang out with us so we just found something else to do so it's like that's why I don't even go to church anymore because I don't every church I've tried I don't fit in because I'm different I never fit in with the youth. In fact, I got along with freaking adults at the church better than the, than those my age. Or even got along with the kids and ha hung out with the kids. And like, because like the one dad at the church that I went to, he was a real goofball. And he did an amazing Donald Duck imitation. And that's how he would greet me every time. So it just like made me laugh. But his sons were really cool too, and I'd hang out with them and just, like, talk to Like, a lot of times if it was nice before church started, because a lot of times we'd get there early, we'd go outside and just kind of, like, walk and talk. We'd just, like, walk kind of down the road, because it was a back road. And, like, nobody really traveled on it. So we just, like, would hang out and talk and stuff. And, but it's like, the adults were nicer to me than those my age. Like, I fit along with them better. And it's like, it's funny because it's like, I matured later than my neighbor, but yet here I am in church getting along with adults better than those my age. Like, I don't understand. But it is what it is. And kids. Like, I've always gotten along with kids. So, I mean, that's, that's, that's never been an issue. <laughs> but I mean... It's just everywhere I've been, even in, and now, being in YouTube communities, Discord communities, Twitch communities, some I fit in, and others I obviously don't. I was just kicked out of one for no reason, no communication, nothing. I was just completely kicked out of the Discord, and I don't know why. I... I didn't even bother to ask. Like, I could have, I could have PM'd her, but I didn't ask. I'm like, you know what? I don't care. I should be, you'd think I'd be used to it by now, but it still freaking hurts. It still freaking hurts. But anyway, I, I mean, it just happens. And then, like, I've had communities call me, fa like, family, like, I'm part of the family. And then not treat me like it. I was just like, alright, whatever. Like, I will distance myself from you then if you're not going to treat me like family, but yet call me it. Like, I'm sorry. I will go where I fit in. And where I feel like I'm part of the group and welcomed and not treated differently just because I am different. And I'm not going to lie. Sometimes I hate being different, but at the same time... I am who I am and I can't change that and I'm not I'm not gonna try to change that. I have enough crap in my life going on going on as it is, so So anyway, I won't keep rambling about this. 
But if any of you understand that feeling and where I'm coming from, I have decided that my set of, it's going to be a set of hashtags, it's not just going to be one, it's going to be a set, and it's going to be home for the outcast, hashtag home for the outcast, and hashtag love for the outcast. So if you're, if you've been treated like one your whole life, like I have, then you belong here, and I will do everything I can to make you not feel like one. I will do the best I can to make people not feel like one for who they are, because no one should be judged, no one should be treated that way. It's just wrong. Because we're all special, we're all unique. And my other hashtag with it Home for the outcast, and love for the outcast. So if you agree with that, and you want to roll with that, go ahead and put that in the description of your videos, if you're a part of this community, and want to help people like me not feel like an outcast. Because if I go into a stream, and I can't just chill and have a conversation with the group. I, I won't stay in the stream. I, I just, I'm sorry, but it is what it is. Like, I'm not going to stay if the others are chatting and, you know, having fun. And I try to chat and have fun and I'm just completely 100% ignored. I will not stay in the stream. Because that happens a lot, and it hurts, but it is what it is. And me treated like that just makes me stronger in my own sense of being an outcast. And I've come to the realization, hey, I'm always going to be one. There is no changing that at all. There is no changing that. It's never going to stop. So if you guys are on board with this, let me know. Use those hashtags, home for the outcast, love for the outcast, and I'll see you in the next one.